Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. Today we have a real review. Today we're going to be talking about the Shimano Scorpion BFS. We're going to break it down in all aspects and we're going to come to a conclusion to see if this is a real worthwhile getting and adding to your arsenal and your tackle box to help you catch more fish. So you guys stay tuned. There we go, that's a fish. There we go, we got him. <laughs> there we go, there he is. So before we dive into the real review itself, let me go over some of the basics about what BFS means because a lot of you are asking, what the heck is BFS? BFS stands for Bait Finesse System. It's a type of fishing culture, especially in Japan, that they've been doing for many, many years, way before the U.S. has actually even heard of it. In Japan, the waters are very highly pressured because there's not many fishing spots. Japan is a small island. So the Japanese anglers have figured out that in order to catch these fish, they have downsized their lures to really small micro lures. I'm talking about lures weighing from 1 16th ounce and below. And it's actually helped them catch fish and enjoy the sport more. And um, that movement has kind of slowly had its way to the United States and people are really starting to get into it. It's not big and it's going to be a while before it becomes a big trend here in the angling community, especially here on the Texas coast. But as I stated earlier, I've used it a lot on my channel and I am going to continue to use it because once again, it's, it's a lot of fun. And number two, I feel like I have a better chance of catching fish using micro lures. So today's real review video format, it's going to be a little bit different than what I've done in the past. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you four categories. I'm going to give you features, aesthetics, performance, and value. And each feature I'm going to rate from a star of one through five, five being the highest obviously, and one being, well, not so good. And during these cuts, during these features that I talk about, I'm going to implement some videos of me catching, actual, actual footage of me catching fish with this reel right here to prove my point, to prove some of the things I talk about, especially in the category system. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so the first category that we're gonna talk about is features. And this little small BFS reel is packed with a lot of features. First of all, this is the XG model, which means it's the extra gear, which means this is the 8.2 to one gear ratio. Also, this small little reel only weighs 5.8 ounces, a very lightweight BFS reel. It has seven plus one ball bearings, it has 7.7 .7 pounds of drag. And speaking of drag, the drag washer itself is carbon. So you know the drag washer itself is not going to deteriorate over time. And it's going to give you the smoothest drag available. Line capacity is somewhat lacking. Well, because it's a BFS reel, that's kind of expecting. Uh, it's rated from the factory at 8 pounds up to 50 yards of mono. As I stated earlier, it's a shallow spool design designed to cast really small lures. And it's a little bit difficult to wrap your head around, especially if you've been using what's available here in the U.S. Because a lot of reels that we have for inshore have really deep, deep, deep spools. So you can cover or you can spool up a lot of line up to 300 yards, 30 pounds. But when you, come, when you get into the BFS game, all spools are very shallow, meaning you're only able to place X amount of line. Inside is a very complex magnetic braking system. So it uses magnets to control the spin of the spool itself when you're casting. Therefore, you're able to cast very small, light, ultralight lures like the 116 ounce or below, even up to 132 ounce without backlashing. And you're able to get some distance because of that shallow spool teamed up with that magnetic breaking that's inside here. Another cool feature that really, really, really makes me happy is this is actually saltwater approved Persian mono. So with all the features covered just now, I'm going to give it four out of five stars. All right, next category that we're going to talk about is the aesthetics of the reel itself. As you notice, it's a matte dark gray, almost a charcoal color, but I would lean more toward the dark gray area. Um, it's very muted, very stealthy looking, smooth lines. Everything's integrated very, very nicely. Just, it looks like a Shimano reel. I mean, if that really says much of you Shimano fanboys out there know what I'm talking about. You have the teardrop rubber handles on the handle itself. 
uh, very comfortable, very tacky, especially when your hands are wet. You don't lose grip, especially when you're reeling it in. Very, very comfortable feeling, soft. You also have red accents on this knob here, and that's pretty much the only color that you see is going to be gray and then a little bit of red. And on the spool itself, I know you can't see it, but the spool is actually all black and it has some red Shimano lettering on it. But other than that, that's it. You have your Scorpion lettering right here in white, Shimano on the side plate right here, and the BFS XG model right there. I mean, overall, it's very low key, very muted. Uh, I wouldn't say it's an ugly reel. Um, I mean, it looks like a plain Shimano reel, but what really sets it apart is its size. And if you're trying to compare this reel to something that the United States, we have here over the States, It'd be closely as uh, resemble the Corrado 70. For the aesthetics group, I'm going to give it 3.5 stars out of 5. Alright ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about performance. A lot of you guys are actually interested in this main category because you honestly want to know how it performs. And bottom line, I can tell you with complete confidence, this thing casts phenomenally. I'm able to cast small lures like the bugs fishing lures from the 160 ounce, a very, very small micro lure to catch redfish flounder trout. I'm able to throw with this reel with pleasure and because, because it's designed from the ground up go, to throw it. small <laughs> micro lures. Yeah. And what makes it more apparent is my ability to throw the small 160 ounce lures directly into a headwind. So when I'm on my kayak and I have a headwind coming right at me, and I need to throw a small little micro lure, I'm pulling this one, this reel out to make that happen because if I need distance and I need my reel to perform without backlashing and able to throw those small micro lures, this thing has performed phenomenally for the past six months. Overall, the reel is pretty smooth, but I wouldn't rate it as smooth as say the Shimano Metanium or the Shimano Antares. Obviously those are the top models that Shimano offers but for a good entry level BFS reel, it's pretty smooth. You can kind of feel a small gritty grind. Um, I mean, I felt it right when I took it out of the box when I first got it from Japan and I knew there was nothing wrong with it. It's just the way it's designed because inside of the uh, main gearing system, it's made of hyper tensile brass. So it's kind of a composite of a brass material. If you were to open it up, the brass is not gold. It's like a a, almost a black dark color composite, but they say Shimano says it's brass, but I feel that's the reason why it's not as super super smooth. The drag is buttery smooth as I explained earlier. It's because of the carbon washer inside of it as well as the 7.7 .7 pounds of drag that Shimano offers on this BFS XG reel. But another cool thing about the drag system that I really want to talk about is what Shimano calls exciting drag system. Nice. You're probably asking yourself, what is exciting drag system? All right, let me show you what it is. Basically, it sounds like a spinning reel. So Shimano has designed this BFS reel to have a drag system that really clicks just like a spinning reel. That's just like what you find in spinning reels. Some people will argue that spinning reels are much more pleasant to fight fish with because of that sound system. But guess what? You have it in this bait casting system. So with that in mind, for performance, I am going to give it four out of five stars. All right, the last category that we're going to talk about is value. Now this is somewhat subjective and not everyone is going to agree with me, but when you get into BFS fishing, especially the reels, when you go smaller, unfortunately, it gets more pricey. And if you look in the market of BFS reels, a lot of them run well over $300. And this is no exception itself. Retail for this reel is going to run you $325. And at that price point, I understand it's not cheap, despite it being an entry level BFS reel. However, however, you can purchase this reel today for only $257 from my friends at Digitaka.com. A lot of you guys are asking, what is Digitaka? Well, it's a Japanese fishing tackle website that I purchased all my JDM reels and this is no exception. I bought this Scorpion BFS from Digitaka.com and I don't like paying retail. I know I don't know about you guys but I never want to pay for retail and Digitaka sells majority or if not all the reels for well under retail price and on top of that there's free shipping and no taxes. Have confidence because Digitaka is actually an authorized dealer for Shimano, Daiwa and Abu Garcia. So they sell 
all the BFS reels for a super low price. Something that I didn't actually explain earlier in the video is the length of time that I actually had while fishing with this. I got this back in late October of last year, early November, let's say. So it's been well over six months and I've actually pounded it in the salt off my kayak, wade fishing, bank fishing. I've caught a lot, a lot of redfish, flounder and trout using this specific reel and it has never once failed on me. I have never cleaned it yet. This has seen many, many saltwater use throughout the past six months. And you guys know I fish a lot. So if I'm able to beat it down and really enjoy it and it's still performing like it's brand new, you can rest assured that it's going to perform for you too. So for overall value, I give it four out of five stars. So in conclusion, guys, do I highly recommend this reel? The simple answer is yes. If you're looking to get into the BFS game and you're looking to use the ultralight microscopic lures to catch big inshore fish like the redfish flounder trout, especially on the Texas coast, in the salt water, and you need something that's going to cast it like a dream, take a hard look at the Scorpion BFS. And if you're looking for a rod to pair it up with, I highly recommend the old 18 suppressor ultralight rod. This thing is a dream to cast and it casts the 116 ounce bugs fishing lures without any issues. The rod itself is 3.3 ounces. Then you have the reel at 5.8 ounces. You're looking at a total package of less than 10 ounces and you're gonna have a lot of fun when you hook up into that big fish. Also, don't forget to use my discount code RXANGLER20 to take 20% off the old 18 suppressor rod or the hollow point rod, whatever suits your fancy. This is an awesome, awesome setup to throw the light lures. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna be it for today's reel review. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. Also, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. I read every single comment, whether good, whether bad. Do you disagree? Do you agree with me? Are you planning to get this reel? Let me know down below. Uh, I read every single comment. Thank you, thank you guys so much. Don't forget to check out my friends at digitaka.com. The link is also linked down in the description box. But that's going to be it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.